Open Heavens on the Go, Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. Topic, Remember Me, O Lord, Part 2. Memory Verse, Genesis 30, 22. And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb. Genesis 30, 22. Bible reading, 1 Samuel 1, 17 to 19. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thy handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did it, and her countenance was no more sad. And they rose up in the morning early and worshipped before the Lord and returned and came to their house to Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. The message. When we say God always remembers, we do not mean that he forgets things or people. God remembers means that he has decided to do something. Our Bible reading for today says, God remembered Hannah. God could not have forgotten her because she and her family went to Shiloh every year to worship him. 1 Samuel 1.3 When God remembers an individual in need, his or her problems will become history. Rachel, in today's memory verse, had been barren for years. When God remembered her, however, she gave birth to the choice son of Jacob, Joseph. When God flooded the earth, Genesis 8, 1 says, And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters as switched. Beloved, like Noah and his family came to understand, there are conditions for God's remembrance. One, you must be godly even among the perverse generations of men. It is sad that now many Christians have become ungodly with the excuse that the world is perverted. At the end of time, Noah will be a witness against such people. Matthew 24, 37 to 39. Despite the immoral state of his world, Noah remained godly. No wonder he found grace with God and was described as a just and perfect man. Two, God must see in you the intent to worship him before he can remember you for good. Our God is a prudent investor. Genesis 8, 20 to 22. Hannah, in spite of her state of barrenness, was a devout woman who followed her husband in the worship of Jehovah. It was on one of such occasions that God remembered her and gave her a prophetic proclamation through his priest, which came to pass before the next Shiloh program. For God to remember you, you must be consistent in his worship. The Bible says that it is good to worship the Lord. Psalm 92 verse 1. As you worship the Lord this year, the Almighty will remember you for good in Jesus' name. As long as you live in holiness, you will experience divine remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer point. Father, remember me today. Lord, please bring to manifestation all your promises concerning me in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year. Psalm 10 to 17. Hymn for today. O oh God, our help in ages past. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.